Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going over how to add a domain to your Shopify store. Now, if you're buying a domain name, uh, typically a lot of people already know of a few domain registrars that are out and super popular, one of them being GoDaddy. Now, personally, I don't recommend using GoDaddy as a registrar because they do some funny things with your domain names and it can cause your website to go down. They haven't had the best track record when it comes to being a company, so I tend to use a company called Namecheap in order to set up my domain. Now, the thing with a GoDaddy domain is if you have a GoDaddy domain and you add it into Shopify, it's as simple as as adding in your domain name and they will automatically go and connect it for you. So from the point of is it easy to set up, GoDaddy is probably the easiest. But I'm gonna guess if you found this video, you're using another registrar rather than GoDaddy in order to set up a domain. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up manually. So if you are using another registrar, that you can uh, get it connected relatively easy. So let's hop over to my screen. So I've gone into uh, Namecheap, which is namecheap.com, and I purchased a domain. Now, I use Namecheap because they give you advanced tools that you can use to make your websites work and be able to connect your domains. They've got fantastic support, and shockingly, they're actually quite cheap, uh, as says the name. Um, they're very reliable, and it is my opinion that Namecheap is the go-to website when you're setting up a domain name for most developers. Uh, this is not sponsored by Namecheap. I just wanna let you know that this is what I like to use and I've been using it for a number of years. So I've got a domain name that I've gone and purchased. Now I'm not gonna go through the purchasing procedure um, and going through all the credit card. You simply go search a domain, you hit uh, purchase and it will show up in your dashboard. Once you've gone and done that, what we wanna do is we wanna set your domain registrar to set up basic DNS. Basic DNS, uh, for those of you that don't know, is uh, the records that command where your website sits. Typically when I explain DNS, I like to use the phone book analogy. Uh, when you have a, uh, a website, it needs to point to an address. If you think of a phone book and an address of a house, um, you have you look it up by the name, so the, the name servers go out and they look up your website by name, and then the website record, or the phone book, the DNS server, will tell your browser what IP address that uh, record sits on. And it does that via the A record and as well as by C name. So when your computer looks up that record, it will then redirect your browser to the correct server where the files are sit. So what we need to do is we need to make that connection between the uh, domain name that we just purchased and our Shopify store. So if I'm got my domain registrar set to basic DNS, I can then go and go and add some DNS records to my domain name so that it will now point to the correct place. Now I should mention that when you're making modifications to DNS, there's a thing called propagation. Now propagation allows the servers to update on a set interval so that your the servers aren't getting blasted with constant updates and information. If every website, every, every server was set to live update, the internet would actually cease to work. It would just wouldn't work because there would be too many changes happening and it would be too much load. So what DNS servers use is a technology called TTL. And TTL is time to live. And what it basically means is if you have a record with a TTL of 60 minutes, then what it's going to do is it's only going to check back in on that interval. Now, if you're making modifications to an A record or a C record or a C name rather, and you want to um, make the update happen faster, reduce the TTL, make the TTL smaller. By making the TTL smaller, you are essentially telling the servers that you're updating that it needs to update more often. Um, this can be a frustrating uh, process if you don't understand TTL because you update the server and you're like, why has my website not updated? So if we come back over to my screen, uh, we can see that I have no records set up for this assistbar.com domain name that I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to go add some records in here. Now before we do that, we want to go over to Shopify and tell Shopify what is the domain name that we're going to be setting up on our demo store. So if we pull up our demo store here and we go and add connect an existing domain, we're going to go and put in the domain name that we're going to be adding. So we're going to add assistbar.com. 
and then we're gonna hit the next button. It's going to bring us to a page where it's going to sense which domain name server that you're gonna be using and it's gonna provide you with instructions. So if I hit view instructions, what it's going to do is it'll take me to the blog post that'll explain how you go in and do it. And this is essentially what I'm gonna go and do. There are basically two records that you need to know when you're setting up your domain name. So regardless of what uh, name registrar you're using, you're gonna need to know these two records. The first is the A record. So the A record is gonna point to an IP address, the IP address being 23.227.38.32. So if we're on our uh, DNS settings, we're gonna add a new record in here. We're gonna add it an at host, so we want this to be the root A record, and it's going to point to that IP address. Now on Namecheap, you can choose your TTL to be automatic. Um, for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna set five minutes so that we can see it actually working when we finish setting it up. And then we are going to hit the check mark button and that is going to save the A record. Now we're not completely done yet. What we need to do is we need to set up the WW. W. So when we set up the A record, this is just going to be the domain name assistbar.com. We also want www.assistbar.com uh, to go in here. So what we need to do is we need to add another record, which is called a CNAME. Now CNAME is essentially an alias that points to a web target. It doesn't point to an IP address. So the CNAME we're gonna put in here is going to be www, and then we're going to point it to a target. Now we can point this target to the root A record if that's something that we want to do. Uh, that's a more advanced way of doing it. Um, but for Shopify, what we need to do is we need to point that C name to shops.myshopify.com. And the reason we want to do that is if Shopify ever makes an adjustment to their A records, we want to be able to have it automatically update. Giving control over to Shopify so that they can manage the DNS for us is a really good idea because they're managing a huge network and sometimes things come up and they need to make those changes for us. So we wanna make sure that we follow their documentation on how to add a domain name to your store. Again, I'm gonna select five minutes under the TTL and I'm gonna hit okay. So now that I've gone and added those two records into my uh, DNS manager or my registrar, I can now go back over to Shopify and I can ask Shopify to verify that connection. So we wanna make sure that um, those records are added first before we hit this verify connection button to prevent any TTL stuff or any propagations from taking place. Once I've gone and hit that button, it will go and verify the domain name and it will now add it to my site. Now there's a couple things that I wanna point out here when you add a new domain name to your site. The first is you're gonna get this notification that comes up that says SSL pending. So Shopify automatically gives you an SSL certificate when it comes to building out your site. Um, but they need to go and verify your domain name. When you first initially add a domain name to your Shopify store, it's gonna pop up with this SSL pending. It's because the domain name is now going and verifying that your domain name is who you say you're gonna be. Usually takes about 24 hours and then this SSL pending is gonna switch over to SSL approved and that means you'll have the HTTPS on your website. So then you'll be completely secured. You can add multiple domain names if you want to, to your uh, website. But if we have a look now that that's been connected and we go to www.assistbar.com, we can see that it pulls up our demo store. And it's really that easy. Um, if you run into any problems with build, uh, adding a domain name, the first thing I would suggest is have a look at what your TTLs are set to. Um, if you have a TTL that's set to a longer interval, you're gonna need to wait for that interval to complete from when you make that change in order for the new interval to take place. So say for example, you have a 60 minute interval set up and you want to be changing that to a five minute interval, you need to change it, wait 60 minutes, and then it will be set to five minutes because you have to make sure all all of the servers around the internet, including your local ones, have had time for that record to expire. So yeah, that's basically how you add a domain name to Shopify. If you're not using GoDaddy, um, you're using another third-party supplier. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, please add them down below in the comment section. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every Thursday, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. 